y'all. There go my baby. She on her way to get fixed. See you later, big beauty. She going to the doctor. See you later, girl. Good morning, fancy beauties and bows. Welcome back to the channel. So I got this lovely breakfast that I just made for myself. Hopefully you can see that. But I got some. Yeah, let me show you. See that? See that beautiful breakfast? Look at all that beautiful, beautiful breakfast. So anyway, I decided <laughs> I deserve this breakfast after what I just went through. Um, <laughs> so I had to go have an MRI done. <clears throat> trying to get this thing right. No. Okay, there you go. I had to go get an MRI done, right? And I know I'm I'm claustrophobic, right? I know I, I knew I was already claustrophobic, but I wasn't even thinking like that. You know what I mean? I was just like I'm focused in on trying to figure out what's wrong so the doctors can you know properly treat me or whatever and mm -mm. fast forward i get in the machine everything's fine i got my little ear Stop saying that they give you. Because she said the machine is loud. I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm doing good. I'm thinking of things that's, that makes me happy and keep me calm and I was thinking about God. I was thinking about my mom. You know? All this time, I have my eyes closed. Right? I start feeling overwhelmed. Um, I saw this light like the light from inside the machine or whatever. <clears throat> and I start feeling my... I, I guess you would call it my anxiety level was going up because I was starting to get hot. I was starting to get warm. I start feeling like I needed some air. So I opened my eyes. Oh, that was the worst thing I could have done. Because before I opened my eyes, I was talking to myself and I was telling myself, okay, Gina, just calm down, relax, go to the beach, go hear the, the waves swooshing and hear the kids, you know, laughing and playing. I'm saying all this to myself in my head because I'm really trying to calm myself down because I already know if I don't calm down, it's, it's getting ready to go all the way to the left. So after I'm thinking that, you know, I, I, I made another fatal mistake and I didn't pray. First of all, I didn't pray before I went into the thing. And then when I started feeling like that, I didn't pray. So, 
I opened my eyes. I saw nothing but white. The the light was bright. The the uh you know the MRI thing lid is white. And not being able to see a way out freaked me out. Girl, I got to kicking them legs. I was banging on the thing. Because, you know, before you go in there, they tell you don't move none of your body parts. Girl, them arms was wailing and flailing all around. My legs was kicking. and I was like, help me. Get me out of here. I done forgot about the pain and I done scooch myself down so I can at least see the rest of the room so I can kind of get this thing under control, right? It seemed like she was taking 50 years before she got to me. Baby. And I'm really embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, y'all. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't talk. When she got there, I couldn't talk. She was, Miss Campbell, Miss Campbell. And I'm just like, tears just streaming down my face. And and finally she was like, okay, you're doing good. You're starting to calm down. Cause the, you know, I'm trying to get calm myself down so I can stop crying and get my, my composure back together. And I'm just crying and crying and crying. And she like, what, are you claustrophobic? Are you scared? And I couldn't talk. So finally I was able to verbalize and I was like, I'm, I'm claustrophobic. I said, I had no idea that I was gonna react like this. Because, you know, my friends know that I'm claustrophobic and I it took me I work with my, my people at the casino. I work with them for five years. And I'll tell you what, the last the last two years, I um, ended up letting the cat out the bag because you know how people play and they come and they um, sit real close to you. But, but over here, this spot right here is to the wall. It was a whole thing. <laughs> so from that point on, you know, the, it, the cat was out the bag. So they knew all of Gina's claustrophobic, right? Because I'm the type of person that I don't like to exhibit my weaknesses. I know I have them, but I don't like to emphasize those. I like to focus in on positive in any realm of anybody's life and especially mine, okay? <clears throat> so I finally calmed down and she says, I want to take a minute, go to the bathroom or whatever. I said, no. So she said, well, we can either go back in. And then you stay away with it. I said, we go back in, don't have to start over. Because it's a, it was a 30-minute session that I was supposed to stay in this thing. So she said, well, <laughs> I only was able to get one x-ray of your neck. <clears throat> and that was five minutes. So she said, and she was really sweet. And so she said, um, your options are you can you can come back and then have the doctor uh, prescribe you a sedative so that that will take the edge off. It'll relax you and, you know, all these things. And then you can also, if you want to just go ahead and get the x-rays of your back, 
we can go ahead and get that done today because at least with your back your head will um be out of the the uh, mri in the back part so you'll be able to you know see and and things like that so i was like okay i said let's do the back at least we can get that out of the way <clears throat> and then um i'll come back and and uh do the medication and things like that so we um she went ahead stuck me back in there she asked me if i wanted a break i said no you know because i at this point i'm embarrassed i don't waste the time i don't know if they got other people that's got to come in or not so at this point i'm just like i just want to get in do it and, and get out <laughs> so she she put me back in there right I'm still shaking. So she gave me this um, ball and she said, squeeze the ball if you need me to come and get you. I said, okay. So I, I get in there. Everything started going again, you know, with the machine and loud noise. I think that's probably what's triggering it is the constant loud noise plus being um, secluded, you know, uh, in this Contract, contract, contraption. <clears throat> so, halfway through, and I kept my eyes closed. Halfway through, I I opened my eyes because I was starting to feel that um, feeling coming back again. And so, I opened my eyes, and if I felt like I was getting ready to had the same reaction be, as before right so immediately i just start praising god i just start in my head i was just because you can't move so i was just in my head i'm like thank you jesus thank you father thank you jesus thank you father thank you jesus thank you father just you know so i can calm down and so <clears throat> i what i did is i ended up uh, tilting my head back some more and just kind of moving my eyes all about just kind of giving me the sense of there is a way out there you're not blocked in so I'm just trying to do whatever I need to do to trick my mind and in, to being able to relax it did work and then she also gave me she said okay you got one more that also brought a sense of relief and helped me to be able to push through it. So when she um, brought me back out the thing, she said, well, do you want to go back in and try to do the um, neck part? I said, no. I said, I'll wait. In my mind, I'm thinking, I'm probably not going to come back because all while I'm in the thing, I'm asking myself, even if I'm under the sedation, right? Because it just makes you sleepy, is what she said. I don't know if I can do it because the feeling it was giving me, it feels like <clears throat> you in the casket. I'm just telling you what I feel. You in the casket. You can't get out. You buried alive. Is the best way I can explain it to you. That's the way I felt. And then you know those movies. You know you go. You watch the movie. And they got the person. Locked in the trunk. And banging, banging man. That was your girl. That was me. Um, Get me out of here. So, I'm thinking, if I'm sleeping, with me associating this thing with the casket, I don't think that's going to be feasible for me. They're going to have to figure out something else. Because I don't, 
And I'm not one to say I can't. I'm I'm always about I can. Okay. I'm gonna have to pray about it, y'all. Come. At this point right here, I feel like me and the MRI are not friends. And I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to see you. I don't want any parts of you at this point with that MRI machine. You won't. That's the way I look at it. That machine won't kick my butt. Mm -mm. I see them. I just mm -mm. maybe they can tell from the back if that's causing the stuff up here without me having to go back in that machine. So that's what I'm hoping for. But anyway, I just want to come and share that story with y'all. I ain't trying to be in that alone. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to put that in your head. I'm sorry, I ain't, I ain't mean that. I don't want nobody to feel what I felt. That was scary. That was scary for me. But anyway, let me get off of here so I can finish eating this breakfast because it's really good. And then I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, that um, work on me Wednesday, this last one, it took forever for me to upload that. I'm going to have to call Infinity and see if I can um, increase the speed because I don't know what got into me putting these hour-long videos up anyway. It was taking forever to upload them. <clears throat> so, I'm going to see if I can increase the speed without costing too much money. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to see you later. I love you. Stay fancy. Stay focused on God. Stay fancy. <sighs> stay out the MRIs. <laughs> and I'll see y'all on the next one. I love you.